Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Jacob Restituto and I'm a musician from Northport, New York. I hope you guys, I hope the Lippers are doing well. Is that how you pronounce it? The Lippers are doing well today. It is a good day to be alive and I'm incredibly grateful that you guys are supporting the channel here. Welcome. I am really much enjoying going through uh, Ellipse music, Ellipitas music lately. It's it's ridiculous. He's an incredible performer. Uh, really, honestly, takes it into his own style of playing while also keeping the beautiful aspects of each original song. Uh, he's done some really, really wild tracks. One thing that blew my mind is the last one I just did was uh, My Heart Will Go On, Go On by Celine Dion, the cover of his. Uh, and it blew my mind when I read the comments. So you guys, I was like, why did it just end so abruptly? And this is the beautiful part about uh, about media or whatever you want to call it just quality work and, and quality i have this quote that i say actually actually i think i stole it from gary v uh but the quote goes quality is subjective and what that means by that is like what i like you might not like what you like i might not like and it's it's the, the or there's a very popular one beauty is in the eye of the beholder what blew my mind is that when it when it ended i was like why did it end i was so surprised but you guys in the comments were saying that his phone died which I don't know if that's been confirmed or not, or whatever the case is, but I love the fact that he posted that. Let me just see really quick. My heart will go on. I want to see how many views it have. My heart will go on. Will go on. Uh, Lipata has. Let's see how many re uh, views his original video has. So, his video, or did I see somebody else post? Regardless, this video has uh, 14 million views on it, right? So. Was was that the one that was? The, what is whichever one cut off? I, I'm pretty sure it's my heart will. Maybe it was not. Nah, maybe it was a different one. Regardless, because I I see that my heart will go on has um, uh uh, uh what's it called is on his page and the one that I remember being and not being on the page. So I thought maybe oh maybe the person that put it on, post like cut it by accident. I, regardless, I love the fact that it was posted while still dying on the phone and it wasn't finished. I kind of like that. I thought that that was so cool because I'm like. It, people don't necessarily care. We, we as creators can sometimes get so caught up in, oh, I, I messed up on this word, so maybe let me re-record re the video. Or the lighting's not right in this. I'm overexposed, so let me record another video. Or, you know, I didn't like the way I pronounced this, or I didn't like this note that I... And, like, here he is, the phone died. He's like, eh, let's just post it. And it has millions of views. And I love that. I love the authenticity of that. Like, it's not this whole, like... like I don't know, and we don't know what goes on behind the scenes. We don't know how many takes he does. We don't. I don't know. You know, maybe he that that was, maybe that was his fiftieth take, and he's like, you know what? I'm done. This is what we're. Called. I don't. I we never know. And and I'm just saying. I think that I appreciate that. I think that that is actually really cool. So, if you guys are enjoying the con the content, it would mean the world to me if you go check out my original stuff. Uh, that being said, if you use a little clip of one of the th songs. Just get me. It is a new track. It would mean the world to me if you go check that out. We're trying to get that to 5,000 views here on YouTube, so please consider doing it. Uh, it would mean the world to me. Uh, let's see what we got, though. This is Sweet Child of Mine, a classic. This is actually one of the first... Wait, hold on. I'm curious if he's going to do the guitar solos in here because this is one of the first guitar solos that I actually ever learned uh, note for note, which I don't really do a lot of, but I did back in like 2014 time. And I was so proud. I used to I used to play it for my parents. When there's no there was no music in the background, so I'd just be playing the solo with my electric guitar with no amp. So uh, my my bless my parents. They are the best. <laughs> Let's see what we got. Unreal. Such a clean guitar sound. It's absurd. It's so absurd. It's so absurd. Nice slide down. You that? That's cool. That's a decent stretch. Look at the stretch he's doing from the se second to the fifth fret right there. It's a good stretch. It's so like this the the way he's phrasing some of these words like does that 
chords. It's wild. Right here. This one right here. Just slide up right here. Beautiful closer reverb. I like this close reverb. He slides so wild. Yeah. Oh, that almost sounded like um, either uh, Hotel California by by um, by who's uh, the Eagles or uh, Led Zeppelin "Stay Away to Heaven" right there. Um, part of going talking about the sliding that he does, you have to like if you don't have calluses on your fingers. That's gonna stick and hurt sliding like that. You develop calluses, and what that actually does is it, your fingers like, hey, this hurts. We don't want it to hurt, so let's actually grow back skin over it. That's actually tougher, so that doesn't hurt, so you don't rip up your skin anymore. Uh, it is very natural for it to hurt when you start playing the guitar. But what happens is you develop strength. It's like anything when you start lifting weights, you get really sore, and then by the time you do it for a while, that same weight that you started with is not as heavy, and you don't get as sore. Same concept, um, and, and that's why you know practice makes progress. Beautiful slides, too. Here's that solo part. Oh, this is wild. I'm so pumped to see how he does the solo. Whoa, it's one of the solos. Nice hammer on right there. Come on. It's so absurd. It's, this town is crazy. So wild. Oh wow, you don't see him strum much. That's one of the first times I really actually sound start to strum right there. Whoa, was it a harmonic? A little harmonic he added. That was the first harmonic of the song. This was this was this was the first solo, like one of the first solos I really actually right here. Oh man, he's doing not. I think is he doing an octave lower? No, that's he's doing in the original. Okay, and here I was taking all this time. I mean, bit random. This was like a long time ago, so like I was really fresh at playing the guitar, like barely a beginner. Uh, it, but it took me so long, and here he is playing the actual chords behind it, slapping the rhythm, playing the solo. This is crazy. That is so crazy. And creating his own arrangement and stuff. Holy mackerel. The chords, the minor chords. And it starts to it starts to whip, it starts to get fast here. Right here. Is that how he ends it? Ooh! Unique way to end that! That's killer! And he's just, just like, cool, I'm done. Oh, uh, it's so crazy, man. That's a classic. I've, I, man, I've been listening to that song for a long time. Um, and I've learned, I know a lot about this just from like hearing it so many times. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Thank you so much for watching. It means the world to me that you guys are enjoying the content. Let me know. Keep letting me know in the comments what you want to see more of. And I will see you guys in the next video. If you want to check out my music, it means the world to me. God bless. Peace out. And I'll see you guys later.